Hey, it's going on us. I'm here in my backyard on a Sunday night, three years to the day since the day I introduced myself, my real self, to my children. So this is where I live. It's dark now, so you really can't see much, but we have a nice deck, we have a great big backyard, and a wonderful home. I wanted to talk a little bit about grief today. Grief because I'm in the process of finalizing the tombstone for my late wife, the kid's mom, and planning with uh, my mother-in-law uh, the uh, unveiling, which is gonna happen in the fall it out with my brother-in-law and the rest of the family. Um, it's not a party. In the Jewish tradition, it's basically done anytime after a certain set period, usually it's a year after someone dies, they unveil the headstone. Um, come back and forth a little bit about what it'll say. I know Wendy would have wanted something very simple. Um, and, you know, for the kids it's hard because it basically puts the grief right in their face again. And it's not like we can avoid it, but they have done a good job of trying to, you know, work around it. My youngest had his night tonight of grief therapy. We each go. Teenagers go on one night. My youngest goes on Sunday nights, and I go with a widow's group. And in tonight's exercise, uh, my youngest erected a tombstone. He made one out of cardboard, and then he made another one on an actual lock, a stone. It just shows you that it's on his mind because it was just six months last week, six months since we lost their mom. Look, the bottom line is this, when you're dealing with children and grief, each person has their own timetable. There is no set standard time to get over anything. I keep telling the kids, it's like learning to live with a hole in your heart. There is no getting over anything. But we've done pretty good. They're great kids, and we all love their mom. And my, my number one job is taking care of them and making sure that they know that they are taken care of and loved, and I'm proud of them, and I am so proud. I'm gonna cut it short, and I'm gonna ask if you have any questions about what it's like to be a single parent who's transgender, being a dad mom, if you have any um, comments or questions, or if you'd like to know more about um, how transgender will be factoring in this week's Democratic National Committee convention. I hope that you'll uh, email me here. It's uh, dawnennis at gmail.com. And um, I look forward to recording another video for you. Thanks again for checking in with me on Life After Dawn. Good night. Take care. Is this just an illusion? my head to